Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 329 here, and today we have another The Lego Movie set review. This is a $30 set called Bad Cops Pursuit. It contains 314 pieces, ages 7 through 14, to number 70802. It's actually the only set of the $30 price point from this line that isn't a two in one set, which is pretty interesting. And here's a front look at your box. There is a quick look at the back of your box. This set includes just one instruction manual with 58 pages of building. Our first minifigure here is, of course, the main character of the film, Emmett. And if you've seen my reviews for the Getaway Glider or the Melting Room, you would have already seen this minifigure multiple times. It's the exact same version, still a great fig, but extremely common in these sets. Emmett does feature a nice double-sided face. And here he is from the back with, of course, the piece of resistance right there. This set is called Bad Cop to Suit, and of course, you get none other than the Bad Cop himself. Really cool looking minifigure, not the exact same version that comes in the collectible minifigure series. The printing here is a little bit different, and the face printing is the main difference here with a different expression. He also has one of those brand new guns that we'll be seeing a lot of the new Star Wars sets whenever those come out in America. And the cool thing about these guns is that they actually fire the stud. I don't usually like to bring my hands in on the minifig review, but I had to demonstrate this. You push on this little dark gray piece, and it will fire that stud, which is an awesome awesome little feature. Now what would bad cop be without good cop? You can see he has a nice double sided face right there with the good cop. Really happy, crazy, silly look and I really like that feature. And unlike his Lego minifigure series counterpart, this time around he actually does feature some back printing which is pretty cool. So here is the actual set itself. There's a lot going on here. Let's so take a closer look at each little piece individually. Before we look at the bigger pieces, you do get two Lego alligators, which are really cool. These haven't been in sets in quite some time, so it's nice to get them again. And I'm not sure if they're police alligators or robot alligators, but they're pretty cool. Their jaws and their tails, of course, can move, so it's nice to get these guys in this set. Now this right here is a very unique piece. It's supposed to be, I'm assuming, part of a train track, which is pretty cool. It's got some nice pieces right here. Of course, a little seaweed kind of detail, a frog down there. Not really too sure what's going on right here. We'll have to wait and see the movie to discover what that's about. But basically up here, it is supposed to represent a train track, which is actually pretty cool. It's not a functioning track. They don't use the actual Lego train track pieces, but I still really like the effort. There's also a very cool play feature involving this train track. Basically, you can take Emmett or whichever minifigure you want and I'll just, I'll just lay him down right there. And if you pull on this little red piece back here, it will cause this whole thing to fall. And if you push back on the red piece, it actually pushes it back up, which is actually a really nicely designed play feature. And I like that quite a bit. Here is the main part of the set, Bad Cops Hovering Flying Police Car. That's very futuristic. I love this piece. I'm just, I love it. It's so awesome. Here is the front of the vehicle here. You have a nice logo right there for the super secret police. You can move it around the side right here and it says super secret police. The stickers here actually go on very easily, which is pretty nice. And actually on the front, there's a small little play feature. You can lift this part up and then you pull these things down. It reveals little lasers or maybe they're just lights. I'm not too sure what they're supposed to be, but it's a cool little hidden play feature. The middle of this vehicle here looks very cool. I'm not a huge fan of the gap right there, but that's really one of my only problems with this vehicle. And just moving along the side here just looks absolutely fantastic. The spoiler back here, the designs for the back engines, very cool. This thing just looks superb. The top here actually has a pretty random sticker. I'm not really too sure what those numbers are supposed to represent, but you actually can open it up, which is pretty cool. And down inside, that there's actually a pretty good amount of room, lots of room to store his gun, and you can put bad cop in there. You can close the cockpit up and this thing is ready to roll, which is really cool. And it actually looks pretty sweet right there. Now there's one last play feature I'm going to show you guys on this thing. It's a hidden feature and I think it's absolutely fantastic. So these pieces right here, you can actually lift these up and on the side here, this thing pulls out this way and then it folds out this way and it reveals some laser cannons, which is really, really cool. I like this feature quite a bit. It's unique. It's different. It's pretty sweet. It doesn't look quite as good as when it's in the stationary mode, but just look at that. That's a really cool hidden play feature. All right, guys, final verge here on this set. I love this set. It's really, really cool. The main problem, surprisingly, is the minifigures in this set because they're not that great. I mean, they're really good design minifigures, but only one is exclusive, and it's just a variant of a character that came in the collectible minifigure series. Emmett comes in so many of these sets, and you only get two for $30, so that's weak, in my opinion. That's the weak point of the set. Besides that, everything is just really, really cool looking. A great deal for $30 with 314 pieces. Really good playability here. Just a really cool all around set besides the disappointing minifigures. Because of the minifigures, this set's only gonna get an 8.9 out of 10. I really wanted to get into the nines, but because of the minifigs, I can't. But please rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy my review. Please go check out all my other reviews for these new Lego movie sets. Please like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and please like this video 
video, comment, subscribe to this channel, favorite it, and share it with all your friends. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.